Hey guys, Chip here, and today I want to show you a little bit about how you can use the new free slice that you can get over at uh, my Discord, check the de description, and kit outs to create some pretty fast radial symmetrical detail. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to select this cube, I'm going to go right into kit ops, and if you have kit ops pro, you'll get this medium cutter and all you do is you, you you click and drag let's turn off let's turn off our face orientation but you click and you drag stuff on right so we'll just you know drag that on here for instance let's grab uh oh let's grab one of these stick this guy on like maybe like this maybe move him down a little bit and maybe we'll add one of these guys right in here and i can rotate him around scale him down something like this mirror him on the x-axis Let's do uh, like, I don't know, event detail, add insert here. Mid mouse wheel, let's scale it, scale it, hit F to hit face, that'll center it directly. So we'll just make it something like this. Maybe stretch it out a little bit. Here we go. And uh, maybe move it, move it just a little bit over like that. Okay, so we'll just start with that. Let's go to the top view and let's take, uh, oh, something like this and we're gonna stick that here in the top and hit the end key so we're not snapping anything so I'll make it kind of big something actually let's move it let's move it over here closer to the front something like that and maybe move it up there we go and then uh, we'll grab something else in here scroll with the mouse wheel to shrink it and then alt key to rotate it so I'm just gonna do like this rotate and We'll stick this off like like that and then i'm going to say shift d y and move it over here like this maybe scroll down a little bit right there i don't like that one let's delete, delete that one let's just grab something else let's grab that select our object add that insert there it is yeah, that looks good let's scale it up a little bit and move it over and this I can shift D X and move it over here. And I think it'll give us a little something more interesting. And I can always hide all this stuff to take a look, see what I got. Now I'm, I've got some rendering artifacts, but we're, those, those will clean up here pretty shortly. Let's add some more detail right up in here. Just for the heck of it, we're gonna go and grab a little, let's grab this, rotate it around. There we go. Okay, now, now this is all done, I'm gonna just select the cube, the original cube that we're working on, scroll down here and say convert to mesh. And that's gonna basically take all those and apply them all. And then I'll say remove unused wires. And there we have it. Now we do have some rendering artifacts. Let's right click and say shade auto smooth. I can just go right into the normals and instead of 20, let's give it 15 or 10, something 15, 15 gets it. Okay, so that's fine. So now. We're in really good shape, we're ready to go. Uh, what I wanna do next is I'm gonna go divide this. So I'm gonna tap into this object, select everything, and go into uh, my tools. And I wanna slice this on the X axis. Let's give it like 50 slices. And hit slice it, and there we have the 50 slices. Tab back out of it. And now, it's really simple. All we do is go in here and we're gonna add a array modifier. And let's give it, I don't know, eight. And then we want to go shift A. I'm going to add a curve, which is a circle, and scale that up. And let's just go into that curve and let's give this resolution to 72, something like 72 there. And then we go back into here and we're going to add another modifier, which is called a curve modifier. Curve. And by the way, in the array modifier, let's make sure we click this mer merge button and we'll go ahead and select this curve. And now we'll see that, yep, that's what we're doing. We're moving that thing all the way around. Like, pretty cool. So uh, once this is done, I can just scale. I, I can scale this, right? So, and with that merge, I can scale it. And as I scale it, things are going to wrap around. And eventually, they're going to match perfectly. And I want to, you know, scale that. Again, I'll scale it. And I'll hold the shift key down so I can get it so they just match. I want to get real close. And then they'll, they'll actually snap together once they get perfect. So right there you can see it there and really and that's our object look how cool that is i can basically you know select it and apply all the modifiers and go into wireframe and you'll see that you know it's done a really nice job of creating this nice nice model for us so turn off the wireframe you know 
I think you get the idea that it uh, looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and just throw some quick material on it. We'll use uh, something like uh, this CW Hero, add a material onto that. And you see that it showed up pretty good. Let's go in here. This is, yeah. So you get an idea that, that this is a very fast way of creating something with lots and lots of detail. You know, once you have it done, you know, you can also stretch it out if you want to, you know, make it look like something else. There's all kinds of cool things you can do. So anyway, just thought I would share this with you and uh, hope you find it useful. And we'll see you online. Bye.